Well, greetings, uh, patriotic Canadians. This is Ron Valen coming to you. And uh, today's topic of politicians and cars getting votes is an interesting topic. It's about the Member of Parliament for the uh, Prince George, Peace River, Northern Rockies. Uh, the riding that I'm going in uh, competing against uh, Bob Zimmer. And that would be uh, for the People's Party of Canada. So I don't want to talk about Bob so much as to talk to him. So I'm hoping you're watching Bob. I know that you're very popular in the riding. And I can understand why when I look at you, I see you as an honest soul. Uh, someone who's very much like me in the sense of um, wanting to uh, do what you can to make your country a better place. And uh, so I appreciate that. And, uh, and I believe that's why the people on the riding appreciate it as well. So good on you there. And um, I personally have nothing against you. I don't even know you. I do respect you in that uh, for the points I just made and, and uh, what I see there. So that's good. What I don't understand though is uh, why are you staying with the Conservative Party of Canada? I mean, you've been around there long enough to know. Uh, you've been around there like Maxime Bernier. Maxime was there for just over 10 years. And he finally came to the conclusion that uh, the party was intellectually and morally corrupt. And I cannot help but think that you know this too. I don't think you're that naive. Now I can understand you wanting to stay with the party uh, in the past because that's really the, there's only a couple of vehicles you can go with in order to be able to uh, form government in Canada. And so you pick the best one you get. And I, I understand that. But now that the People's Party of Canada has been uh, set up, uh, you know Maxime Bernier's platform, you know all about the leadership race. Uh, you know Maxime uh, himself, you can see he's authentic and uh, wanting to put Canada first, he won't be corrupted. So what I don't understand is why haven't you come over to the PPC side? I'll give you a little bit of insight here and that is um, People's Party of Canada Electoral District Association in uh, your riding there, they were waiting for you to contact them. Uh, they were this close to contacting you uh, to see if you'd want to come on board and, and leave the corrupt uh, Conservative Party. But I guess they felt that maybe it was better than if you made the first move. And you didn't, and uh, that's too bad. It's unfortunate because now you're finding yourself on the wrong side of history. I just don't understand um, how you don't see the corruption or are letting it go or willing to go along with it. Uh, just even look at the leadership race there with Andrew Scheer winning by 1%. Uh, there was thousands of extra ballots that uh, were cast that were, were more than the membership of the party. And when they went to try and do a recount, uh, the ballots were gone, they were destroyed. Right from the get-go, from the uh, bringing forth of Andrew Scheer, you've got corruption and scandal. So how can you stay on with something like that? And then in the, as you go along and watch the, uh, I mean, you were there with Stephen Harper. What happened there in September of 2015 there, Bob, when you guys went and uh, adopted Agenda 2030, September 25th to 27th, uh, one month before the actual voting of the election. While all eyes were on the election, you guys went and did that. Surely you must have enough insight to know of what's going on there by accepting something like that. It's a new form of 21st century global communism, hybrid communism. I mean, you, you don't deserve to have the conservative name. You should be called the Communist Party of Canada for doing that. And to you know, have the UN the authority over Canada by having it uh, dictate to us, you know, its policies on on all of these things within that agenda. So I don't know. I don't understand it. I mean, uh, you're a Christian man. Uh, you know, we're, we're talking world government here with the UN. They want to set up the parliamentary assembly. You must know that. Is this where you want to head Canada? I don't believe you do. So I just don't understand why you're staying there. 
So I guess, you know, I'm, I'm calling on you as a man to man, Christian to Christian. You know, do the right thing. All eyes are on you, actually. And not just on this earth, as you know. And um, you know how this thing rolls. Uh, you got to be on the right side of things. So it's not too late. Uh, you can, you know, make the decision to leave the corrupt Conservative Party of Canada, just like Maxine Bernier did. And you can cite some of the things that you know about it and uh, step away. But I believe that you would be highly respected for making such a bold, courageous move, especially from Maxime Bernier, because he knows what it has taken for him to have done the same. So, just, you know, calling on you, Bob, to do the right thing, and uh, I hope that you will, uh, not just for the sake of the PPC and for Canada, but for your sake, especially, and for the sake of your constituents within your riding. So uh, there you go, hope you do the right thing and uh, we're looking forward to seeing what you do. DPC 2019. Another point is uh, when Andrew Scheer got into uh, to the leadership there of the Conservative Party, what was the first thing he did there, Bob? He whipped uh, the vote there with all of you guys to go in in favor of the Paris Climate Accord. Are you on board with that? Do you really believe that CO2 is a pollutant like uh, Justin Trudeau says? So the authoritarian rule that Andrew Scheer demonstrated there is what you're going to get in the future. You know that. With Maxine Bernier, you're going to have freedom. You'll be able to freely move as your uh, soul desires and as your uh, conscience uh, moves you. Right now with uh, Andrew Shear saying that they're not going to do a carbon tax and at the other side of his mouth he's saying we're going to go and uh, penalize heavy, heavy polluters and emitters of CO2. CO2 greens up the earth there, Bob. And uh, so on one hand that they're not going to be charged any kind of a carbon tax while it's being backdoored through the uh, penalization of uh, big industry, and, you know they're not going to be able to absorb those costs. It's just going to come right back at us. Uh, it's just like Jason Kenney did to Alberta, and uh, we don't appreciate it. But that's why we're going to vote the Conservatives out. So, do you want to be on that sinking ship? It's time to uh, to do the right thing. Uh, another point, Bob, that. Uh, you have to consider as a Christian man is uh, abortion. How can you go along with the Conservative Party who are absolutely adamant that there's not going to be an abortion uh, debate at all? Um, you must know that uh, there is no real abortion law in Canada that you can abort a nine-month-old baby. You can kill a baby uh, with nine months of life. How can you go along with that with a clear conscience? Now with the PPC, it's not part of our platform as you know, but if you wanted to bring it up in a private, private member's bill and uh, help protect the unborn and do the right thing as a Christian man, what people have to realize when they uh, are considering voting for Bob is that uh, even though he may be uh, an honest soul and uh, maybe your friend, he's still going to be stifled by the direction of the leadership within the party. I mean. They're going to go and do what they're going to do, and and really voting for Bob, you might as well be voting for a UN representative there instead, because Bob's hands are going to be tied because they're going to go and implement their UN agendas, and Bob's going to be powerless. So, what's the point in that? Why not vote the PPC, and then you can totally uh, have the things done that need to be done. Um, so you can't just uh, make your decision on Bob Zimmerman. The other thing is the Global Compact of Migration, because when you look at that, uh, you can see clearly how it's going to destroy Canada. And I know the Conservatives are saying they're not going to go along with it, but uh, you're going along with everything else with the UN, surely you can see the correlation between it and Agenda 2030. Uh, in Agenda 2030 talks about ending world poverty, uh, taking away the dis 
discrepancy between the rich nations and the poor nations, and they're just going to be flooding Canada with all of these migrants who can't speak our language, and we're going to have to cater to them and uh, have them access our social services. So why are you going along with it all? Why aren't you a voice for your community warning of what's coming upon the land? I don't get it. But now you can stand up. You can do the right thing.